Oh, hello. My name's Zeke and I run a comedy gaming website. That's me there in the sexy RAF coat. I'm not a member of the Royal Air Force, but I do bloody love a good flight simulator. The only problem is, I don't actually know what any of these buttons are for or what they do. But it doesn't matter! Despite my high rate of failure, I figured it would be fun anyway to take some gamers and other cool folk out for a spin. At the end of the interview, we'll try and land the plane together at their airport of choice. Or any available flat surface, I guess. So, without further ado, I'm going to plug in my crappy joystick and take to the skies. It's time for another episode of Noobs on a Plane. I am a British gamer who sucks at playing flight sims Interviewing people while we try to land the plane And hello chip scratchers and welcome to the first ever official episode of Noobs on a Plane We are noobs and we're in a plane the noobs I'm with today are Emily Hello. and Paul. Hi. How are you guys? Good day? Pretty good. Bit damp. Well, nothing warms you up quicker than exploding jet fuel. So um, what we're going to do today <laughs> is take off from Plymouth Airport, get out of Plymouth as quickly as possible because no one likes Plymouth, and fly to your house in Cornwall. How does that sound? Oh, that, that sounds pretty good. Just, you know, don't crash on the house. Have you got yeah. a garden? How big's the garden? Uh, we got... Is it tarmac? I think it's, it's not tarmac. <laughs> 280 feet long? <laughs> no, it's not 280 feet long. Well, I'll see how we get on. Um, I think without further ado, we should set off, get into the sky, fly towards Cornwall, and we'll find out who you guys are, what you're doing, and what you're trying to sell people. We've, we've put our phones on airplane mode, so there will be no electronic interference. Ooh, good thinking. Probably the least of your concerns, though. I will point out for passengers, however, that due to cutbacks, there will be no safety demonstration aboard this flight. Today's destination may not be the actual destination we're trying to get to, and the temperature when we get there will be <laughs> roughly that of a burning plane. Left or right? Uh... I'm not sure which way is the longest way for that Emily, runway there. Emily, right! Thank you, Paul. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, wept. Yeah, wait, aren't those... Are those yeah. st structures ahead of yeah, us? Are we taking up? There are. We're off, oh, though. We're okay, we're okay, kind of. Just don't, is that a church? Don't crash into that church. Ooh, Jesus. There's smashing sound. I don't know what it is. I think I'm hitting lampposts. I'm struggling to get this to go... Are we going to... Oh, 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 oh! Oh, God! Bad start, bad start, bad start! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's smoking, but it's not on fire, so it could be worse. I reckon uh, we can get this toad back to Plymouth and try again. <laughs> we'll, we'll try that again. We'll jump cut that. That's fine. There we go. Alright, we're going to have to take off quickly this time because it looks like there's a Boeing coming straight at us. Oh, okay. Where's the, why is there black stuff on the runway? I think that's the burnt rubber where people have successfully touched down in the past. Um, we all experience none of this success malarkey, so don't worry about it, basically. <laughs> right, that was a bit smoother. We are taking off. This guy bothers me. I don't know if he's coming in or going out, so uh, not entirely sure what to do about him. Well, other than not flying to him, I think that's the, you know, that's the only advice I can give that's right now. That's sterling advice, Emily. Don't fly into him. I like that. Do you guys actually know how to fly a plane? Um, uh, no. No. It's, yeah, it's one of those yeah. life skills. Actually, I would rather, if I was going to learn how to fly a flying machine, I'd rather learn how to fly a helicopter. I could see you on one of those Leonardo da Vinci helicopters, the ones that you cycle with the, <laughs> the kind of crazy umbrella things going on. Well, congrats, guys. We're up in the air. How does it feel Yay. to be Yay. kind of bouncing up and down wildly? Uh, somewhat more victorious than, than, than previous. Um, it, it, it looks a bit interesting as well because we're not quite level with the horizon at the moment. Yeah, I, I can't see what is going on here. Let me just take a little peek out the window. Oh, there we go. While we're flying around Plymouth, I think that's it down there. You can see a couple of that, high rises. That does look somewhat suspicious. Suspicious. 
and suspect. I've always regarded Plymouth with a healthy amount of suspicion. I don't like how close it is to Buckinghamshire. It makes me nervous. <laughs> so, um, we've got Emily and Paul. Guys, you are... Well, Emily, in particular, you're prolific. You work on more websites than I've had hot dinners. Um, and many of these projects involve Paul. Why don't you tell us about one of them? Um, I think the biggest thing that we've been doing in the past year together has been uh, our Nerds Assemble podcast, mm. um, which doesn't involve just Paul beside me, but two other Pauls who live nowhere near us. So Emily, Paul, Paul and Paul, are you trying to collect them all? Do you only do podcasts with people called Paul? Am I lucky that you're doing this podcast with me? <laughs> Um, perhaps. I mean, we do. We've had uh, Monsieur Peter Cooper, who's the author of Telecos uh, Protocol, on a couple of times. Um, but, but you he fired him because become... he wasn't Paul. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, he's uh, had to become an honorary Paul every time he's been on air with us. Right. So, in order for him to be accepted into the group, um, sort of like and, and kind of fall in line with the Paul mentality. I'm not sure the what Paul the Paul. Mental- what the Paul mentality is. Well, although, to be fair, there has been quite a few times where I've, where one of us turned around and said, oh, I know we've uh, got this like uh, controversial opinion, but... And then the other two have agreed. <laughs> so, yeah. I, th- I think we are almost like a hive mind of Pauls. Yeah, to be honest, I hate to think what would happen if we actually had them geographically in the same location at the same time. Which but, merge into one mega pool. But yeah. both of you are geographically in the same con- um, same location because I am privy to the news that you guys are engaged to be married. Is that true? This is this is very true. And so um, you are, you are, are you marrying him on the basis that his name is Paul? <laughs> There's a um, I don't know if you can see it. I'll just turn so that you can see that. There's a hot air balloon down there on the right. Have you tried flying through one of those before? We can try now if you want. We could try. <laughs> So, um, while we're about to kill innocent people, Nerds Assemble. It's a brilliant podcast. You're into the to the 20s, aren't you? You're episode 22 just went out today, is that right? No, uh, episode uh, 24. 24? Mm-hmm. Wow, but, my mistake, sorry. Yeah. Um, By the researcher. You no, know, it's a fantastic podcast. Yourself and all the Pauls have got uh, you know great chemistry going on, um, and it's very entertaining to listen to. I thoroughly enjoy them. It's actually surprisingly easy to edit because we just get on so well that um, basically all we end up doing is sticking on you know the intro a little bit and is that it? That's good. I can see myself editing this like for hours to come to cut out all my mumbling <laughs> and nonsense. Right, hit, let's hit this guy. Hello. Oh, oh. Hello. Oh. oh my goodness. I, I missed him, but they actually had people in the basket looking horrified. I'll try and uh, freeze frame that in the video, but yeah, that looked amazing. So, uh, what else are you guys up to these days? Any fun projects going on? Um, uh, we're couple. Car- we're a couple of things. Um, one of our main creative projects that we're in the planning stages for at the moment is a uh, fictional web series. Okay, tell me more. Yeah, it's basically um, a season series of six episodes. Uh, each about what five minutes longish um, that will kind of tell uh, kind of obviously a f- fictional story. Mm-hmm. So, so we, um, I've always preferred trying to edit fiction rather than you know kind of non-fiction. Sure. So, and I don't get a lot of uh, call to actually edit fiction stuff. So I just decided you know like this is what we're going to do. Excellent. So um, uh, what, what's it all about? Can you reveal any details? Or are we still in the, the working um, progress bit? Uh, the first one follows um, just just to make it a bit brief because we don't want to give away too much. But the sure. first one follows a uh, a disgraced uh, scientist who gets uh, what he wished for and then ends up rather regretting it somewhat. And that that's just to put it basically. I think it's a bit more interesting that than that. Though. Yeah, yeah I think you're being a bit coy with the details there. What kind of um, genre yeah. is it? Uh, this this first one. Speculative fiction. Yeah, it's speculative yeah. fiction. Speculative fiction. One. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, any idea when it's going to land? Hoping this year. Well, better be this year. Yeah, it has to be this year. <laughs> Does um, anyone recognise these fields? Um, Pure. no, but I'm I'm wondering which coastline we're on at the moment because I'm assuming it's South 
coast. Oh, Emily, um, I've been so enthralled by our lovely chat. That could be the Strait of bloody Gibraltar for all I know. Um, <laughs> we can take a look at the map. Should we do that? If it's safe sure. to do so. Got Plymouth there, where my cursor is. Uh, and this yep. purple line going down and across the bottom, that's where we've gone. Okay. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we're on the south coast. So that's mm. fine. We're heading in the uh, correct direction, as far as I can tell. Um, I don't actually know. Where do you guys want dropping off? Newquay? Or we could go to Truro? I think the way Truro. you're going, Truro might be better at the moment, because Newquay's going to be on the other coast. Yeah, Truro is dead ahead, basically. So yeah. if we head to that, that would be good. Although the only problem is I have no idea how the little computer thing works on this plane. Okay. So you'll just have to keep your eyes out for it, basically. Yell, and I'll push you out the door with a parachute. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys fancy a game, while we're flying, of Would You Rather? Okay. Yeah. Have you ever? Sounds you good. sound hesitant. Have you ever played Would You Rather? Um. Well, I haven't. I'm sure about Emma. The the, in, um. the instructions are very much in the title. I think we'll be um, we'll be fine. Essentially, I give you um, some kind of moral or whimsical statements, and you have to decide which scenario you would rather have have happen. So, for instance, the first one. Like I say, it's very light-hearted and whimsical. Would you rather club a baby penguin to death or strangle a Nazi? I don't know whether I could necessarily kill another human being, but if I could, then it would be Nazi. Ah, yeah, but could you? I, I could kill a Nazi. Oh, I've dreamt <laughs> about doing it. Yes, uh, Emily has literally dreamt about killing... Hitler. Yeah. Ruthless. Could you strangle yeah. him with your bare hands, Emily? With your bare hands? Um, no... No, it was it was with a pitchfork, actually, a farm pitchfork. I bet Sigmund Freud would have a field day with you. <laughs> <laughs> One of the questions someone wanted uh, me to ask you on football is, "What is your favourite football team?" And by that I mean <laughs> soccer, not US football. He just threw in that just to to clarify. Well, I'm not sure about you, but I don't really have one. I remember when I was younger, uh, like around the age of ten, possibly younger. Mm -hmm. Um, I know my brother liked Aston Villa, so I kind of like Aston Villa as well. If if I had to like a team, um, I probably used to uh, remain mute over the subject of Arsenal because I had cousins that supported Arsenal. And if you'd said anything out of line, then interesting things might have happened. Got a dead arm, <laughs> yeah. I think that's yeah. generally why kids pick the teams they pick, isn't it? Not because anyone actually gives a shit or cares about football. Fear of dead arms, really. Because <laughs> I, I really, I mean, was it there was that report out today, wasn't there, about um, the football industry in this country and how it's been handling itself? But I, I really dislike how big the amounts of money are involved mm. in sort of like Premier League football and that. It is ludicrous, it, isn't it? it? It really puts me off the sport. I mean, it, it damages communities when teams start having problems. Um, and certainly the issues that have happened with the likes of Dallas Way, sort of like Plymouth Argyle and uh, our like Metro City Football Club. Yeah. It it they're not necessarily huge, huge leagues, but at the same time they've they've not been well managed financially. And it it's unfair on fans and it's unfair on the players and the people who run the clubs normally. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do get that, but being devil's advocate isn't the amount of money in football purely just because fans are willing to pay that amount of money for shirts and tickets and stuff. Well, it's probably very well, naive of me, I don't know. Well, I mean, sponsorships and stuff. Yeah, the sponsorships, so, the oh, sponsorship yeah, yeah. is the bigger thing. And I've also put out that I think a couple of uh, teams uh, might actually be traded on stock markets to some extent. Oh, really? I, I did not know that. Could you imagine if you could actually take your share in it and be like, oh, I own David Beckham's toe. Yeah, but His Be little toe. Yeah, but Beckham's... Well, who's he playing for at the but moment? I, I don't know, but I think it would just be a you know, brilliant thing yeah. just like on TV and it's like, my little toe did that! Yeah, and when like, they're cupping their balls on the penalty line, you can be proud in the knowledge that you invested in Thierry Henry's scrotums. Speaking of stock markets, I think the one thing 
that I missed that is related to stock markets was something the, the BBC ran and they ran from the start of BBC Three starting up mm-hmm. to about maybe a year or so ago and that was Celebdac and it was a, a shares system involving celebrities okay. whereby somebody calculated a share price based on uh, images filled by celebrities in newspapers and prices would fluctuate and stuff and like it, and there was a whole trading thing and there were leagues and stuff and I used to be in I used to uh, play it didn't didn't you have it where you were so successful at choosing uh, you know your stocks and the celebrities that they actually reset your score yeah really I assume this yeah, wasn't like, real money you didn't become a millionaire it wasn't oh. it wasn't real money I mean basically every time you made a million or so many millions, um, it, re- it reset, it like took away all your stock, gave you a sum- lump sum of money and you had to start all over again, which was really annoying actually, because you know, when you had like the killer team sort of like composed of the likes of JK Rowling, JK from Jamiroquai, though actually, speaking of him, I think he got removed after he got his driving back. Did you only invest in people called JK, much in the same way that you only do media projects with people called Paul? <laughs> oh no, oh no, no. <laughs> Um, I don't know where we are. I've not been paying attention. Um, I've just been floating over the countryside, and we're actually, well, the coast's more off to our left now, so we've gone inland a bit. Um, we should really see about landing this plane in a minute, I think. Yeah. There seems to be a settlement over there, but I can't see any obvious landing strip. I I, I wouldn't risk landing in a settlement, even if there are roads, because Cornish roads are rarely straight. <laughs> Mm, the the yeah. Romans did not make it this far. <laughs> that is a very good point. Well, we'll have to keep a lookout for. They, they made it a little bit, but they, they didn't really come properly. They didn't build roads down here. No. <laughs> it was mainly run by pirates, come... wasn't it? Was it? I'm getting all of my knowledge um, from Cornwall, from Pirates of Penzance, much in the same way that I only knew, know London through, <laughs> through uh, Oliver. <laughs> pirates were perhaps a local feature uh, from sort of like. Maybe the medieval sort of Middle Ages to sort of what maybe a couple hundred years ago. Was it necessarily pirates or was it just smugglers? Well, pirates, smugglers, wreckers. I mean, you know, we were so badly paid down here that we had communities that would wreck ships and steal their cargo. And Emily single handedly upholds that tradition when she's not doing podcasts. <laughs> okay, so this is Falmouth, I think. You think you've actually gone as far as Falmouth? I think so. Because the, yeah, that's the estuary there on the left. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. That's probably I, I, Falmouth. Yeah, if we keep going any further south, we're gonna end up at um, Coldrose, the uh, naval base. Oh, it's interesting that you mentioned that. I did notice that on the map a minute ago when I was looking. Um, I just didn't bother mentioning that because I figured it'd be a tiny little airstrip that no one would know where it was. But there you go. Uh, no, it, 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 it's proper, it's a pro- it's an Air, it's air Navy, uh, it's the, uh, well, until it gets fully privatised, the uh, Air Sea Rescue Space there. Oh, right. Um, I would imagine it's quite a big strip then, if yeah, that's where it, right. Yeah, it's, yeah, pretty it's big. Quite, it's, quite a large area. Yeah, yeah, I think they've actually got the, I think they've got enough room... For us? Uh, for us, yeah, because they used to have the smaller kind of, um, was it Nimrods, the smaller jets? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That they used to have? Yeah, I think they used to have those land there. Okay, so um, if our landing at Truro fails, we can, um, if we, you know, if we screw up the, the approach, we can bounce off and then, like, try and land there. Go further, yeah. yeah, we'd have to, we'd have to be going further southwest, basically, um, in order to reach there. That's if we've got enough fuel. Um, let's have a look at the fuel. Has anybody got any idea which one the fuel is? Oh, I can see it, I can see it. To those two there. Okay. Okay. What what are the levels looking like? Can you not see them across the stream, no? Um, not in immense detail. Good. Well, the less you know, the better, because it's not looking fantastic. I must admit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're still on one one fuels. I think one fuels is enough. Okay. Like if you've got two fuels, that's more than enough to get you anywhere in the country. One fuels, that's that's fine. You'll be okay. So we're approaching Truro now. Um, anything else you guys want to plug or talk about while we're going? Emily, you run um, this not so fictional life, your blog. How's that all going? Yes, um, that's good. I haven't been out in the past week, but that's because I've been uh, 
busy with other things. I just want to say that um, on this day of recording, uh, I officially said bye bye to uh, Beef Jack, oh, who I've Beef been Jack. with for almost three years. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Yeah. Um, amicable split. Everything happy. Uh, pretty much so, but they were the itch that it's just it was becoming an increasing uh, sort of strain on my free time. Yeah, of course. And with wanting to like write web series and do more sort of like different types of sort of podcasting and media content, just, just talking yeah. about games all the time just wasn't my thing. Mm, I should point out that Nerds Assemble isn't just a gaming podcast, is it? You, you talk about all uh, kinds of stuff there: films, comics. Uh, manga, anime, uh, TV, cooking. We're flying over Truro now, but I can't see this mythical airstrip. Well, it's not anywhere like really in the city, if you can call it a city. There, the, the the airstrip's somewhere in a field, about four mi- three, four miles. Okay. Out, outside of the populated area. I think. Hmm. If you can find a good bit of field... I can see, straight ahead of us, and down quite a bit, is a little grass strip that seems... Uh, strippy? <laughs> is that the word? I don't know. It looks like it could be the airstrip. Okay. So, I'm coming down now. If we don't make it, and I sincerely hope we do, because I'll be really... I'll. You'll think less of me if I crash the plane, and I don't really want that to happen. <laughs> but if we do, I'd like to say thank you so much for... Uh, being on the first official episode of Noobs on a Plane. It's, it's been pretty good and enjoyable. Yeah, yeah better um, than EasyJet. Yeah, definitely better than EasyJet, oh, totally. Definitely better than EasyJet. Oh, by the way, did you print out your tickets before this flight? Um, you didn't, did you? That'll be £45, please. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for coming down at a wonky angle, so I need to straighten this up. Obviously, everyone can check out uh, Emily and Paul's links and fine work in the description box of this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, what else do I need to say? Uh, follow us on Twitter. Wow. Visit my website. Um, don't die in your own plane crash. And assuming that we're about to die, we'll uh, catch you next time. <laughs> right, guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, we're coming in at a good angle, but if we overshoot it, there's houses. <laughs> uh, and there's a road. Oh, no. There's a main road there. Oh, 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 no. wait, car, watch out for the car, oh, 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 oh no, uh oh, oh no. it depends how quickly no. we can stop, we might There's be okay, but yeah, we might be okay if I can stop it really quickly, just nearly crushed a car, oh, 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 shrub! Watch oh, out for the shrub! We've landed, we're fine! We're, we're fine! <laughs> <laughs>